new web series. New web series. Would you like a flyer for my new web series? You're promoting an internet web series? Right. Why are you standing out on the street promoting an internet web series? No offense, but it seems like it's a colossal waste of resources. Okay, what are you really saying? What am I really saying? Yeah, I mean, I hear what you're saying, but what is the subtext of what you're saying? The subtext? Yeah, subtext. Are you the writer? Maybe. Are you the writer of the show you're promoting by handing out flyers on the street? Maybe. The flyer you printed in color, I see, and are handing out one at a time to anyone passing by. Okay, I don't really see where you're going with this. I'm saying, it's a web series. Why don't you just promote it using the web? Okay, 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 I see what you're saying. So you, you're saying, why not promote my web series on the web mm -hmm. because it is a web series? Yes, yes. Well, I will tell you why. It is because I presently am unfortunately without web services. You don't have internet. You write an internet web series and you don't have internet? Again with the questions. <laughs> the irony. The irony. What are you saying? Good luck with that. Okay, you have a lovely day. Miss, would you, would you care for a subtext translation? This is interesting. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's our I'm reading. This could work. It's about theater, live theater. More and more, live theater is happening not in an actual theater. It's happening in the streets, trains, alleys, anywhere but the theater. I find that very, very exciting. It is exciting. As an actor, I'm excited by that. As a writer, I'm also particularly excited by it. I thought you might be, as a writer. But I'm also particularly excited by it because of how it relates to what we're doing. How so? What we're doing. What do you mean? The web series. Okay, the web series. How does it relate to the web series? How exactly? You don't see the parallel? No, Charlie Rose, I don't see the parallel. I mean, you of all people, I thought would immediately see the parallel. <sighs> what parallel? What fucking parallel? The parallel between... Our web series and live theater on trains. No, I, I don't see it. You don't see it? I, I thought you were teasing me. You know what? I don't see it. I don't want to see it. If you took it, whatever it is, and put it right in front of my face, I would turn around and walk away, leaving you with it. You Keep it. I don't want it. Me metaphorically? Metaphorically, literally. I, I, how the fuck should I know what I mean? I don't know what the fuck we're talking about. are so entrenched in the traditions of the venue, it has you bound. Me bound? So bound, buddy boy. Hey, Eddie, if anybody is bound in the traditions of the venue, it is you. Me? I am yeah. far from bound. Okay, I'm open. Oh yeah, what about the time I tried to get you to eat peanut butter and jelly with bananas? That? Worst idea I ever heard. Some things just do not belong together. Yeah, I totally agree. Funny. Okay, well, maybe when it comes to food, maybe I'm somewhat bound. But even I, bound as I may be, immediately recognize the possibilities for us when I read the article. I may be bound, but I'm not so bound I couldn't see that at least. Maybe you could start by explaining what the fuck you are talking about. The web series. Why do we have to limit ourselves to the traditional venue? Why can't we, you know, follow the lead of cutting edge theater and, and change the venue, reinvent the venue? Why should we remain bound? Change the venue? Change the venue. Of our web series. Change the venue of our web series. Yes. Unbound. I want to unbound. Don't you? 
What do we have to lose? Our venue is the internet. Exactly. Don't use the internet. Right. Who's to say we can't unbound ourselves from the internet? Because it's a fucking web series. Web series. Web series. Web. What part of web? Don't you understand? Theater. Theater. Some young, innovative thinkers took the theater out of the theater, so why can't we take the web out of web series? You know what? Why not? We already took the series out of web series. It's taken us three months to write the second episode, so let's take the web part out too. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Yeah. You don't think it's a good idea? Oh, I think it's a brilliant idea taking the web series off the internet. Yeah, sure, let's show our web series on trains. And let's show our web series in dark fucking alleys. Maybe. I mean, those venues were mentioned in the article relating to theater. Maybe there's like a, a better, more particular suited, you know, change of venue for a web series. All I'm saying is, let's try and think cutting edge. Tap into the zeitgeist. Push the medium. Anyone can make a web series on the web, but not anyone can make a web series on, uh, I don't know. Let's give it some thought. Maybe for the second episode, we can try and take a web series where it hasn't been. The internet is so yesterday, right? We don't have a second episode, remember? We have one episode. It's on YouTube. The internet, it has 13 views because I watched it twice trying to figure out what the fuck I was thinking when I agreed to make this web series with you. I think that should still count as views. Eric? quit the series. And then I remembered why I agreed to do this project in the first place. Witty original writing? Joanne. I thought the girl you cast as the girl was super hot and that maybe I could hook up with her if I did the web series. What are you writing down? Just a note to self to fire Joanne. <laughs> fire her. Go ahead, fire her. So if you take the web series off the internet, I'm fucking quitting. And you can premiere episode two in gynecologist's offices, the local AA meeting, or animal shelters, because I won't give a fuck. Okay, so just to be clear, it's okay if I fire Joanne as long as I don't change the venue of the web series? That is correct. Well, because as I come to find out, she's in some long-term relationship with some guy named Jerry or Joey or Judah or something. He's a banker or lawyer. Plus, she's really not a very good actress, so yeah, you should probably fire her. I never liked her. I'm glad we talked this out. This has been really productive. Yeah, it has. Probably one of our better meetings, actually. Wow, you weren't kidding, you really do have nothing. So, I think I'm in love. Eric, the actor in my web series. You have a web series? Yeah. It's only one episode, but it's really good. Oh, Hollywood romance. But things get pretty heated on set. <sighs> oh, yeah. This is just... This is just... I can't do this. I'm quitting. I think I need to quit. Is it because you're afraid something might happen between us? And you respect our working relationship and you don't want anything to jeopardize that? No. 
it's not that. It's this. It's the writing. Your writing. This writing. This, this, this sucks. Well, we shouldn't let that come between anything happening between us. Nothing is going to happen between us. Is it because I don't respect you? What? As an actor, I mean. Look, <laughs> I don't really care if you respect me as an actor. Good, because I really don't. Great. Great. I'm, I'm quitting because... No one is watching. No one is watching because the series stinks. And the series stinks because this writing sucks. Well, and because of the acting. Well, fine, fine. Yes, the acting stinks. But it's, it's primarily because of the writing. Well, who's to say which came first? The, write, the writing. The writing. The writing. The writing always comes first. The writing sucks, and it, and it does. Then the acting is most likely going to stink, too. That's funny. But funny. Well... I noticed that you said that the writing sucks, but about the acting, you stopped at saying it sucks, instead opting to say it only stinks. Yeah, what's the difference? I think they should be on equal footing. We've established that they're both responsible for your quitting the show. I think they should be treated equally. Okay, fine. The acting stinks. The, you have, the, the writing stinks. The, the, just the whole, the whole thing stinks. But initially, you said that the writing sucks and the acting only stinks. Initially, I'm just saying. Okay, all right, fine. The, the acting sucks, the writing sucks, the series sucks, and the people who have viewed it on YouTube, they probably suck. Wow, that sounds totally intense. Yeah, it totally is. I don't know how you guys get any work done. We don't. In fact, he's quitting the show because it's too much for him. And me, but mostly him. I've never had a workplace relationship. Is it worth it? Yeah, it totally is. Um, but it's true what they say. In the end, the work does suffer. I'm totally gonna have to recast now. God, you're so Hollywood now. I am. I totally, totally am. Oh, I met someone yesterday at the bus stop. Really? Yeah, right here in this neighborhood, totally. <laughs> and he's an actor, just like you. I'm a writer. Exactly. And he came from this acting gag and he was like all upset. And we just started talking and I totally calmed him down. He was like really, really upset. And I was like, listen, it's probably not worth it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I talked him out of quitting. It was actually right here on our street. Really? Mm -hmm. Just hanging with my home girl. What's up? Oh really? You changed your mind? What let me guess. You met someone who talked you out of quitting. I don't know, just a lucky guess. Whatever, Eric. See you. That was Eric. He decided not to quit. Wow, somebody can't get enough of you. Totally. So what are you doing later? Wanna go out and fuck shit up? Oh, I can't. I'm probably going out with that cute actor guy. We totally made out at the bus stop for like 15 minutes. Who does that? <laughs> People who suck. I don't know. I mean, I know he's probably like a temperamental actor guy and everything. Nobody's perfect, but he was waiting at the bus stop like a loser. I mean, I can't date a guy that rides the bus. Like, no way. You know, I need a Hollywood guy like your guy. Is he cute? Hey, you know what? You should actually come with me later. That way if bus stop guy shows up on foot, we can totally ditch him. Well, Hollywood his ass. Well, Hollywood his broke ass. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> totally. Hey, and you know what else? Eric should just be in your web series thingy. He's a really good kisser. There's a kissing scene, right? How she feel? She? She feels okay. Oh, she feels better than okay. She feels good. Great even. She feels great. She feels okay. 
Well, she beats the bus. That she does. If you ever wanted to take her out on the town or whatever, you can. That'd be good, thanks. But the bus, you know, things happen taking the bus that never happened driving a car. Interesting things. Like what? Oh, come on now. <laughs> oh, you can say. I think it's better if I didn't. You mean like kissing girls you just met at the bus stop? Yeah. Wait a minute, how do you know? Monica told me. Monica, yeah. Was she? Oh, she said you were a good kisser. What else did she do? She also said she could never date a guy without a car. Yeah, there's that. Are you licking your lips right now? Huh? What's it? <sighs> well, she said I was a good kisser, huh? <laughs> oh, you think you're hot shit, huh? Friday. Friday? Friday what? Friday the car. I have a show to go to. It's really far out. It's too far out for the bus. Do you think I could take the car out for Friday? I guess. I don't see why not. Thanks. That's awesome of you. I really appreciate it. You're the best. Although... What? Uh, although I was thinking about um, selling her. Selling her? Yeah, selling her. <laughs> why? You love this car. How are you? Can't complain. Good. And your mother? She's good too. And her rents. How are you and her rents? The rents is paid. You make fun of me. Kidding. Mm -hmm. Good on food. Caught. Running. Drive it, yeah. Money? Don't need it. Job! Yeah. Well... I know, I know the thing with the writing. Look, if inspiration calls, I have to be at home. Creativity doesn't leave a message. If your mother asks, you tell, tell her... Tell her I'm looking. So the writing. How's the writing thing going? Good. Really, really good. You'll have a write me in for one You'll disown me. <laughs> You'll disown me. You ever write that second episode? No. But... Eric and I have been kicking around some really excellent ideas, really punchy stuff. And the first episode's up on YouTube. Yeah. I know. But it's up a couple of views. Is that good? Yeah. All right, so you're good, your mother's good. You got food, you got shelter, cars running, and uh, you and the writing thing's up a couple of views. That's all I got for today. Now, I want to go catch the recent Samson. She always takes them out of four. Maybe today she lets me walk with her a little. Carry the poop bag, huh? Eh? You're such an old hornball. Oh, yeah. Not dead. So, anything else? I think I covered everything. You are such an asshole. Just like Eric. No, he is an asshole. Pop, no, he's not. All the time the he comes... The way he talks to you... It's just how he talks. It's his thing. Yeah. 
Asshole. I can't believe you are saying this to me. Hey, I tell it like it is. That's who I am. So does he. You do me a favor. You don't compare me again. You and Mom weren't that different. <sighs> that wasn't so hot either. Pop. He's no good for you. You wouldn't think anyone was good enough for me. How would I know? All I ever hear about is Eric, me and Eric this, me and Eric that. You know, hey, give me some options. One. Give me one option besides this Eric. I guarantee you I learned to like the other one. What if I told you that, like, I liked him, like, as a boyfriend liked him? And I'd say when you're young is the best time to make the big mistakes in life. All right, okay. You gotta excuse me. I just got enough time to do the three S's before I go win over Teresa's heart. What, cleaning up after her dog? Hey, when you get to be my age, cleaning up a pile of shit beats the hell out of Shakespeare. In fact, you know what? You like this Eric boy like you say you do? Ask yourself this. Would I clean up a pile of his shit? Oh, he's house trained. Really? Well, that surprises me. Hey, can I use that Shakespeare line? Yeah, you can have that one. But I'm charging you for the next one. Don't forget to call your mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She can't help it who she is. No, it's can, Pop. Asshole! Do you ever think about your life purpose? What do you mean? I mean like, say a person felt this one thing was their life purpose, but uh -huh. then God ordained that they couldn't have that one thing. God? Or whatever. But that they, that person, couldn't have the one thing that they felt was their life's purpose. Are you talking about the web series? No, I wasn't talking about me per se. Okay, who are you talking about? You only know like two or three people per se. Just forget it, Eric. You're talking about me? You're talking about my comedy thing? Because let me just stop you right there if you think that comedy is my life purpose, okay? If it was, I'd be like sleeping in cars to avoid paying rent so I could keep my schedule open for gigs and auditions. And that's not the case. I have a job, I have a house. I got lots of normal people stuff. You know, comedy, it's just like, um, this thing that I do and I happen to be really good at it. You know, I happen to believe that people shouldn't do what they love, they should do what they're good at. There's no offense. Eric, I definitely Comedy wasn't. I'm good at. Life purpose. Oh, I don't think so. Eric, I was not talking about you. Okay, if you were talking about you, you were talking about me. Who are you talking about? Nobody talks about nobody. Okay, I was talking about me. And you were talking about the web series. Jesus. Eddie. I don't even know what to say to you. I feel like I should say this, and I don't really know if it's my place, but anybody who thinks that their life purpose is a freaking web series is pretty fucked up. Is that what you're telling me? No, Eric. Huh? I know it's just a stupid web series. I know. You don't have to educate me. Okay, I was just, you know, I was starting to feel really bad for you. I don't need your pity. It's not the web series. Then what is it? Just forget it. No, I'm actually really curious now. What? What could it possibly be? That's your life purpose, huh? It's just... Tell me. Eric. I, um... I mean, thank God it's not the web series. It's not, right? It's not the web series. Okay. I promise. Okay, then what is it? What's so important that it's your purpose? Your life purpose? I don't know. Just forget it, okay? No, I want to know. What is so important to you? I mean, what could possibly be important to you that it's enough, that it's defining your life, your life purpose? I mean, maybe, maybe. Oh, 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 oh. no, it's a maybe. Oh, yeah, you know, a maybe seems quite a bit to be hanging a life purpose on, don't you think? Yeah, I do. It is, for sure. Well, if it's not the web series, what is it? You really don't have, like, a whole lot going on. You know, you're like you don't have a job, you don't leave your house except to see me. So what is it? What? You said it. I did. Yeah. It's a job. I feel like my life purpose is to have a job. 
but not just not just any job a job that's steady and that i really really like and a job that likes me that treats me well and is good to me and utilizes all of my talents and skills and um, that that pays really well but like not just in money but in a deep down sense of admiration and understanding i want a job that understands me completely in all of my weirdness and never questions me ever and is always there for me always for the good times and the rough times yeah i mean that sounds like those kind of jobs really hard to find they are and the worst part is that when you do find a job that's like that it isn't offered to you it sounds kind of fantastic Really? I mean, it sounds like too good to be true. I mean, where does one even begin by finding a job like that? Like, what are you doing? What's your search like? What are you targeting to find this perfect dream job? I don't know, just, you know, people I know. Oh, okay, see, yeah, well, there's your first mistake right there. You don't know that many people. You know me, you know your mom, you got your um, hot neighbor, you know? Monica? Yeah, Monica. Look. I really think that making your life purpose, you know, finding a dream job, you're just, you're just setting yourself up for defeat. You know, why not just settle for any job? You work it for a little while, and then, you know, I don't know, you move on to another one. Then while you're working that one, you're lining up the next one. You do that for a few years, and then maybe after some time, if you're lucky, a really perfect job comes along. And then what do you do? Hey. You leave all those crappy jobs off your resume because no matter what they say, employers, they really start to judge people who are in their 30s and they've had like more than nine or 10 jobs. So you lie. Yeah, you lie. And maybe it's like a perfect dream job, but probably it's not. So what do you do then? You lower your expectations. I mean, that's the American way, right? Am I missing something here? Is this, am I not? Am I missing something? You sure you're not talking about me? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you are sure you're not talking about me, or yeah, you are talking about me? Wait. Uh, yes to the first one, no to the second one. Okay. Listen, if all you need is a job, I know that uh, Louis over on Broad is hiring. Louis? It's not like a sex. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, Louis likes hiring the females, he thinks they drive up sales. I think you should really give up on this whole life purpose thing. Start with Louie. You know, Louie's available. That's what you need. You need available. Would you still respect me? Respect you. Yeah, I mean, if I were to work at Louie's, would you respect me after? Respect, yeah, I would respect you as exactly as much as I respect you now. But would I hire you? Because that's what you're really asking, isn't it? Yeah, I think you might want to leave that one off the old resume. What are you smiling about? Uh, well, I was just laughing, like, if somebody's life purpose was to work at Louis, you know? Like, okay, so saying, like, say, saying that, like, okay, somewhere there's somebody for everybody, then somewhere there's somebody for Louis. You know, <laughs> like, God, like, she would be such a catch, you know? Uh, actually, I mean, she'd... There's something kind of hot about a girl who'd want to work at Louis. Maybe I'll go on down there. Eddie! We both know that's not gonna happen. Come on, we both know that a job, work, that has nothing to do with your life purpose. We both know what we're talking about here. We do? Yeah, we do. I think we should both just stop pretending. We should. Your life purpose is a web series. Oh my god, I don't even know what to say to that. It's so... Neither do I, okay? <laughs> hey, speaking of the web series, did you get around to firing Joanne? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so I ran into her in the street the other day. We started talking. She's in like a new situation, okay? And her dedication really showed. I really think that she's got some talent, that one.
I really don't get this. It's like a metaphor. Yeah, yeah, I get that part, but... doesn't love you. You know what, Eric? You don't know what you're missing, Eric. What kind of stupid name is that anyway? Great, actually. Uh, yeah. No, I haven't. Because I don't have it. Um, newspapers? And, like, networking? I mean, networking. Like, people. I have friends. I do. Look, Mom, is this the only reason you called? Because I'm really in the middle of something. Writing, okay? Happy? God, you're like the Gestapo. What? You met someone? Where? Hmm. So are you like a drunk now? Well, look, Mom, that's just great. I'm real happy for you. Look, I gotta go. I'm so busy. I'm, I'm waiting for an important call, and you know, I don't have call waiting like you, so... Yeah, it's from a guy. I'm not lying. Jesus, Mom. Look, I don't want to hear about your love life. Because it's gross. Mom, you're such a slut. I was kidding, kidding. Does he know about your cats? About your 13 cats? Oh, well good for you. I don't know. Well, I'll let you know. I won't, I won't be here. Cause I'm going out. Uh, out, somewhere, out. To a boyfriend's. No, not Eric. Well, you don't know him. Because, because I go through so many, if I brought them all home to me, you'd have a heart attack. Well, you wouldn't mind? Okay, fine, fine. I will start bringing every guy I sleep with home for supper and to meet the cats. Happy? Okay, expect me. Okay, bye, mom. Bye, mom. Goodbye!
I'll show her who's the slut. drink? I think I'm going to take a break from the web series. See, you moved your TV? I needed a change. What kind of change, exactly? You know, I've been feeling really depressed and insecure about everything lately, so I decided to, to shake things up and stir the pot. Why the sunroom? For the TV? Yeah. I don't know, I guess I just felt like... I mean, I guess I just... You're gonna think this is stupid. Okay, we're good. I'll tell you. I'll tell you, I was feeling depressed because I never go out, like ever. So I felt like I just really just needed a change. Yeah, hey, you were right. That is stupid. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Sometimes you're very unsupportive. You do realize why. Why what? Why this is such a stupid idea. Why what is? This. This what? This, the TV. Why moving your TV to the sunroom because you were depressed is such a stupid idea. Is that a real question? I believe so, yeah. Oh. I, it sounded rhetorical, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, no, it's a real question. Oh. I don't think you do. I, I don't think you know why. I, I, I don't think you do. Trust me. I know. Believe me, you don't. In fact, I'm willing to bet you any amount of money that you don't know why this is such a stupid idea. You'd lose. Oh, I think I'm on safeguard with this one. You, however, you are on the Pacific fault line. Me? No, <laughs> I'm on safe ground. You're on the fault line. Oh, well, there's only one way to find out. Okay, fine. If I tell you, will you just shut up about it? I will not talk if you can tell me why. I will not talk for three days if you can tell me why. But you have work tomorrow. I don't even talk at work. Well, but what about your comedy show tomorrow? I'll cancel it. I'll cancel my comedy show if you can tell me why this moving your TV to the sunroom is such a stupid idea. I will not talk for three days at work and I will cancel my Friday night comedy show. Okay, what's my wager? Oh, you don't have to wager anything. In fact, I feel like we're both just punished by having this stupid conversation. So that makes two of us. Yeah, I included you. Okay, so... Why? Okay. It's a stupid idea because bringing a TV into a sunroom is a stupid idea because it's a sunroom. Okay? Because of the light. Because the light invades the screen and competes with the image, making it mostly undiscerning and thus stupid. <laughs> what? Well, why are you laughing? You just lost a bet. <laughs> no, no, not by a long shot. Lots of people bring their TVs into sunrooms. Is it the smartest idea? No, but people do it. That's not what makes your idea so stupid. Then why? You, you said you moved your TV to the sunroom because you were feeling depressed, right? Right, okay, yeah, I said that. Depressed because you never go out, okay? That's why you needed the change, because you never go out. So your solution is moving a TV to the sunroom? That, that, that is why your idea is such a stupid one, because you moved your TV to another room instead of just going out. I did say I was depressed, okay? But I never said it was because I wasn't going out. I would never say that because I do go out. I believe you did say that. I didn't, trust me. Would you like to make another bet? 
Whatever. There's no way to prove it. Of course there is. Just uh, rewind the tape. You're recording our conversation? Yeah, of course. I record all of our conversations. Why? Because they're so stupid. They're so consistently stupid. I use them to write material for my comedy shows. And I'm willing to bet you that I'm going to use some of this for my show on Friday. Erica, I... I'm beginning to think you have a gambling problem. Yeah, maybe I do. It's only a problem when you start losing. So, should I play the tape? Forget it. I will. I do go out for your recorded information. Oh yeah? Where? I don't think I like you. I can't believe I'm doing this. I never go on blind dates. Well, I'm glad you made an exception. Yeah, well, Monica said you were really nice. Really, really nice. Nice is good, right? Oh yeah, nice is nice. Good. Nice is different. Different. Yeah, there's this guy. I mean, we're not seeing each other or anything. We're just friends, but he's the opposite of nice. That's unfortunate. You know what? That is unfortunate for him. So, how come you and Monica never... Uh, uh, Monica's very nice, but uh, we're not exactly compatible. M Monica likes guys with them. Cars? Yeah, cars. Uh, whereas you could say, I, I believe that we should be able to get ourselves wherever, whenever, without the aid of a device. Uh, in a city, at least. I'm an urbanist. Anti-technology. That's hip. I wouldn't go that far. Maybe to some technologies. Like cars, for instance. The cars. Uh, planes and trains, too. Uh, buses. Uh, canoes and sailboats are passable. Oh, so I, I guess we're not running off to California? Not unless you want to make a quick stop in Panama. You know, what is it with guys today and this whole movement away from the automobile? I don't know to which guys you're referring to, uh, but for me, it's definitely a socio-political philosophy. I'm not just moving away from cars. I'm done with it. Right on. So, how did you meet Monica, anyway? Uh, at a bus stop, ironically. She's out of control. How's that? Uh, nothing. Um, you guys didn't kiss, did you? I'm, I'm sorry, did you just ask if we kissed? Yeah, look, hey, you can say I could care less. You don't beat around the bush, do you? Fastest way between two points is a straight line. Shall we? So, did you? Kiss? Uh, no. And honestly, I, I hardly think I would kiss a woman I just met. I like to take my time with a woman. Make sure the woman can handle the trip. Uh, but she, um, Monica, did offer me a ride. She did? Uh, yeah, but I told her I was waiting on the bus. I wasn't waiting on the bus, I was waiting on my friend which was true, and, and, and then at some point we started talking about car ownership, and that's when she mentioned you. She said you had a car, but you never drove it, which I thought was intriguing, and she said you were an actor. Writer. Oh, um, and well, she said you were pretty and funny, <laughs> and she said you walked everywhere. But that got you hot under the hood, eh? Um, well, meeting you was the very first thing that came to mind. Yeah, well, uh, it's all true. I, I do have a car, but I've never driven it. It's fascinating. Am I? Seems so. And here we are. I have to say, I'm, I'm not disappointed. You're even more dashing and articulate than she described. Hey, um, there's this really awesome German place around the corner. Do you feel like grabbing a bite to eat? Um. Not quite just yet. I'd like to work with a very big appetite. Wouldn't you? Oh yeah, totally. And um, this is nice, right? Walking? It's the only way to fly. And it gives us a chance to get to know each other. Which is important, wouldn't you say? You know, Monica was right. You are really nice. I wonder what's wrong with you. Oh, hey, I was kidding. No, it, it was... Plenty funny. Shall we? So, 
Monica said you're at the university? Uh, yeah. What do you do? Are you like a professor? No, a student. Oh. I spent some time in the private sector, but then I decided to go back and get my PhD in urban planning. I happen to believe that cars are destroying our most basic resources, and I want to do something to change it. <laughs> I want to change culture, you could say. You may think this is crazy, but I want to reshape society back to what it was originally intended for, a foot-friendly culture with a focus on the pedestrian. Uh, from the T-square to the town square, or, or as my colleagues might say, uh, I want to put the foot in the forefront. Wow, you're like a revolutionary, but a nice one. We need more radical thinkers. I mean, at this point, cars are every everywhere. I know. Hey, look, sign me up. I'm glad you feel that way. So tell me, what do you do with your day? Well, um, I'm a writer, and I'm writing this web series. Um, we did a Kickstarter. And that's a good thing, I presume? I'm not really sure. Well, anything that's not reliant on, on transportation is admirable. <laughs> yep. No reliance whatsoever. It's just me and my typewriter, and the empty space between us. Eddie, if, if I might, um, how is someone as pretty and beautiful as you not dating someone? I, I mean, what's wrong with you? Touché. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess you could say I'm married to my work. Which isn't always a bad thing, as long as you remember that it's not always about your work. Agreed. So, how's that appetite feeling? Uh, it's not quite there yet. Hey, I could walk all night. Do you mean that? Yeah, totally. You're quite a woman, Eddie. You're quite a guy, guy. Sorry, bad joke. You know when, when God was giving out sense of humor, it wasn't a drive through <laughs> Funny, I get it bringing it back to the whole car thing. So tell me about your web series. Oh, well, it's funny and awesome. It's great, actually. Um, it's on YouTube. Wait, you don't have anything against the internet, do you? Oh, no. I, I love the internet. It's how I do all my international travel. No, I I I'd really like to watch it sometime. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, currently my internet is offline, but... Yeah, well, maybe you could come to my place. I have a pretty solid connection. Yeah, uh, that would be, um, yeah. I'd, I'd really like to see it. I'm glad you're chasing after your dreams. You know, this is going really well for a first date, I mean. Could you not do that? Oh, God, sorry. It's I analyze out loud. It's just the writer in me. It's like no. the writer doesn't shut up, but I'm like, ah! No! I, I mean, we were walking and you just stopped abruptly. It, it, I, I overlooked it the first time you did it, but uh, but, but uh, now you just stopped. It's it's jarring. Well, hey, I mean, we do have to stop at some point, right? Sure. In the foreseeable future. Sure, but it should be mutual. The other person stopping before the other person is the equivalent to breaking hard, which is why I denounced cars. Now, shall we? Um, you know, I, I'm really getting kind of hungry, guy. Maybe we could find, like, a slow-moving food truck? Guy? Okay, so, what'd you think? That was so great, right? What the fuck was that? What do you mean? That? What the? You, you call <laughs> you call me at 5 in the morning, tell me you write a new episode that you want me to look at a script? Yeah, but that was at 5. I didn't hear back from you, so we went out and shot it. You shot it? Yeah, we shot Who it. Who shot it? Me and Diana. You and Diana? Yeah. You and Diana shot this between 5 in the morning when you called me and 11 a.m. when I called yeah, we did. I mean, casting and rehearsals were so killer, but oh. it turned out really great, right? What? <laughs> that? Yeah. Episode three. Episode three? That's what? It's not episode three. 
We didn't write that. That's just asking people random questions on the street about the internet. Have you heard the internet? Oh, you like the internet? What'd you hear about the internet? Oh, where are you from? Oh, Toledo. Oh, that's cool. Wait, 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 you hear about the internet in Toledo? This. Yeah, I think it's like post relevant. Where, where did you even find a VHS recorder? Um, Diana's mom had it. The VHS thing makes it look really real looking, right? Well, that's because it is real. No, no, I know it looks like it is. That's just because Diana is so great. But, um, no, it, it's like totally German New Wave. It's, it's, they're all paid actors. Well, the second guy we stiffed, but um, the rest of them we paid. One of the old guys was a no-show. We had to recast last minute. Ugh, that was 20 minutes. I'll never get back. These aren't actors. Yeah, they're actors. No, the guy with the eye patch was an actor. Yeah. I thought his performance was just sort of missing something, you know? And so then Diana suggested the eye patch idea. So great. Oh my gosh. That woman with the long hat thing. She was hilarious. She had the crew dying on set. I mean, they were very professional when they needed to be, but... The crew. Well, Diana. Right. Yeah. Uh, those aren't actors. This is in episode three. You didn't write this. This, this... This is not something that you can write. Not actors. Not acting. Uh, well, I hate to burst your bubble, smart guy, but all of them actors. Paid actors. Union. You really sag after actors, huh? Working on your your VHS MOS shoot, huh? Uh huh. Okay. L O L. Why are you talking in crazy code? Um. But yeah, actors. Really? How much did you pay them? Well, that's private. Oh, it's private. Where'd you get the money then? From some foreign investors that we found. Foreign inv at five in the morning, really? Yes, German t TV executives. German. Germans. Um. Yeah, they love it. They're gonna put our series on German television. They thought the first two episodes were so great. Did you notice that episode one is up another five views? I mean, my internet's broken, so unless you've been watching it obsessively. <laughs> That's not episode three, you didn't write that. Nobody wrote that, okay? That is just asking random people, random qu- I mean, God, Eddie, you, you, you just wasted my whole afternoon. And, and all these people's mornings is- <laughs> Yeah, okay. I mean, maybe I should have waited to hear back from you so we could have worked the material a little more. I will give you that, but Diana's mom said we could only have the VHS thing for a couple of hours, and we had the talent in place and the Germans on board, so we just went for it. With a little editing, it could It was be... edited in camera. Well, we storyboarded extensively. Oh, really? Because... A lot of times when you were talking to people, you were asking other people on the street if they wanted to be in your movie, in the middle of a take. That was written. I don't buy it. Well, the Germans did. Oh, the Germans. The Ger Ger there, are, there, are, there are no Germans. Eddie, you are... crazy. You are insane. Okay? I... <laughs> Yo, I canceled Frisbee Golf for this. <laughs> Okay, Eric, look, let's just say I had written it. I mean, if, if I had, what would you think? If you, had written it, if you had written it, I would say that your writing is improving, sadly. But um, you didn't write it because it's unwritable. Nobody wrote this. <laughs> it's not even about the right. Because I'm, I'm the lead actor of your web series, and I'm not even in the third episode. Eddie... <laughs> Eddie! Oh, no! Eddie! Eddie from the neighborhood! <laughs> it's, come on, man! Yo, do, 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 do you understand that when we hang out now, it's just like, it's just like one argument after the other. Yeah, but that's our thing. No, 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 it's not, it's not our thing. It's not my thing. It, it's not, okay, it's maybe our thing now, but it was not our thing before this, this, um, Web, web series. Well, before the web series, we barely hung out. Well, I'm, I'm kind of beginning to see why. Hey, look, I can write you into the episode. It's not too late. The Germans would be fine. The, the, no, no, no. They're, what? Stop talking about the Germans. What is with you and the Germans? When we were kids, it's always the Germans are going to save us. The Germans are going to save us. There are no 
freaking Germans. You're not going to get any miracles from any Germans. Do you even know a real German? Okay, the Germans aren't going to save this web series because there, there, there is no web series. There's no web series, not with me anyway. I'm quitting. I, I, I'm really, I'm, I'm quitting. I'm quitting. You've said that before. I know, this time I really mean it. I would like you to remove my name from the credits. What the fuck was that? I thought uh, you... What? Well, there was an awkward silence and you were looking at me and I was looking at you and... Is there music playing? I, there was an awkward silence because I told you I'm quitting the web series. Oh, I guess I misread the signals. come to a bitter final end he quit the show he quit the show and i think he means it this time i'm talking about eric oh i know when love is gone all that's left is jack me and jack jack loves me don't you jack jack will always love me won't you jack i don't know why you're talking like that you're completely sober what do you mean i mean you haven't taken a drop the slurring amateur hour you're embarrassing yourself, really. I thought it was pretty good. You're no Julianne Moore. Oh, Julianne, God, she's good. Plus, you don't even drink that stuff. It's not your style. I could. I can, I mean. No, no, you can't. Hand it over. Hey, my mom's a drunk. That means I have the drunk gene. There's no drunk gene. I heard it was genetic. Maybe it is. I don't know. But if it was, it skipped a generation in your case, because you're not a drunk. Maybe not, but it does feel good holding this glass. Yeah. Was your old man a drunk? No, he sold encyclopedias. Oh. Yeah, he was a good guy. My mom called me a slut. That's tough. I know. Wait, I thought you called her a slut. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was me. I did. Yeah, you're definitely not a slut. Jesus, I'm not a slut. I'm not a drunk. Though those are generally good things to not be. It does feel good holding this glass, though. Yeah, you said that. Yeah. Look. I'm not saying that you can't go around calling yourself a drunk, but just just maybe don't do it in front of other drunks. In the case of calling yourself a slut, you may want to talk to your mom about that. Maybe I'm not a writer. Maybe I only call myself a writer. No, I've actually seen you writing, if that counts for anything. You have? Yeah, I actually have. I'm pretty sure I have at least a few times. Maybe it's like this glass. Maybe I just like to look the part and then a beautiful creature like Eric comes along and sees right through me. Just like this glass. Maybe you have been drinking. No, no, I'm not drunk. You were right. I'm not drunk. I'm not a slut. I'm not a writer. Maybe I'm nothing. You know, there are professions other than those three that you just mentioned. I was in love. I was that. I was good at that. Ugh, people actually drink this crap? I mean, people like this? Ugh, do you see? He's turned me into everything I'm not. The, the excessive drinking, the reckless promiscuity, the uncontrollable urge to sit at the typewriter at ungodly hours of, of the day. He's trying to dictate who I am. He's an asshole. I'm not letting him control me like this. It has to stop. Okay. Okay. Hey, did you call my mother a slut? Huh? Earlier. Did you insinuate that my mother was slutty? I may have. Yeah. You know, I call my mother a slut all the time. But it is so nice to hear it from someone else. Not a problem. But I can't hang out with you, Diana. Yeah. Good things. Maybe I'll write an episode about you. No. Please don't. But are you going to pass that glass? Oh yeah. Sorry. What the fuck is this shit?
It's it's iced tea. I mean, do you have any idea how much Jack costs? Yeah, I do. What about acting? You're no Julianne, but maybe you have some talent there. Acting. Hmm. Acting. Hey. All packed? Yep, yep, just about. Cool. Well, um, I can't stay long. I left my keys in the car. Oh, yeah, hey, cool. Oh, you're driving? Yeah, you know, it's not so bad, actually. Yeah. Totally. kind of like it. Mm. Have you thought about getting one? Yeah, yeah, maybe, you know, it's like, uh... LA probably should, you know. Yeah, totally. They're great for getting places and uh, for daydreaming, you know. Right. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, also a struggling actor, it's a great place to sleep. Oh, you'll <laughs> get so much work out there in Los Angeles. There are tons of web series out there. Yeah, right. It's just, it's just that little difference between work and paid work, but. Speaking of, I actually have to go because I have a meeting right now about our, my web series <laughs> right now. Cool. Um, who's, who's, who's the meeting with? With the, um, with the, uh, um, well, with the one and only Diana. Well, you're my best. I will. So, break a leg D out there. Thank you. And send me a postcard. I will. I'll write you a letter. <laughs> well, See ya. Hallo. <laughs> Eddie, we are so happy to be working with you. We love every page you write. So fucking great. So funny. We shit our pants when we read your words. Oh, yeah, I heard you guys were really into that. Yes, yes. We love to shit. It's great. Mm -hmm. But listen, Eddie, you have to take us to this Derek. Such an asshole. <laughs> yeah, we have to, to kick his asshole ass. Take us to him right now. Well, gosh, he's up. He's not actually real. I mean, he's partly based on some people that I know. Oh, such a shame. I was really looking, turning him into my hand puppet. How do you say it in English? Uh, hand doll. But listen, Eddie, you're so beautiful. We have to take you to the Deutschland. Do you have any German relatives? Uh, well, I think my mom got stoned in Munich once when she was a teenager. Oh yeah, we have to meet her too. We wanted to write an episode about her since she's so slutty. I sleep so in slumber. Yeah. So fucking great. This is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. German television is so superior to American television. Los Angeles is so full of shitholes, Eddie. Scheißhauser. Yeah. Fucking great. And only Scheißhauser, uh, shitholes, still move there. Oh, yeah. I mean, some people just don't get it. Yeah. They never will, Eddie. Never, Eddie. Never, Eddie. Never, Eddie. Hey, um, what are you, what are you doing? 
just thinking. Yeah. What happened to your Volkswagen? Well, I traded it out. It wasn't quite German enough for me. <laughs> um, what, what were you um, thinking about? Just about endings. What about them? About how they suck. So, uh, what amount could someone give to almost fund this wonderful um, web series? Hmm. Gosh, you know, I almost don't want to say because I really think that could be different for each person. Right, right. That's fair. That's fair. Mm. Okay, what I will say is this. Um, it's not so much how much people give, but how many people give, right? If we have almost enough people give whatever they think is almost enough, then we might have a shot at almost funding it. I love that. I love that. I really, I really do love mm -hmm. that. Well, I think we're just about done here. So. Are we getting paid for this? God, writing blows in this tone. Well, Eddie, you're the director, so you're really not known to play with yourself. What about that Sam guy? I ah, made him up just to make it sound more credible. Uh, oh, okay. Well, good thinking here. Cut. That was um, pretty not half bad. I know. Yeah. Okay, so if we both agree that that was like super awesome. Is it not half bad? Right, which we agree. So why don't we take that and make it what? into, well, if, if it was super awesome, why don't we just. Not half bad. Okay, but why don't we just make that episode two? This the Kickstarter? Yeah. Well, okay. First of all, it's a Kickstarter. It's for the thing. It's not the thing itself. Okay, well, who's to say that it can't be both? Well, because it's a Kickstarter. First of all, we talk about the thing in the thing. Okay, right. I mean, that was the plan originally, but I think it could be both. No, Why no, can't no, it be no, both? No. no, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't talk about the thing in the thing itself. Why not? Because it's really shitty writing. Only a shitty writer would talk about the thing in the thing itself. Hey, I think it's hip. Yeah, we both talked about you using the word hip. No more. Now look, I'm, I'm not saying that this is episode two, but all right, I guess if you took everything that we have thus far, you laid it out on the table, you know, metaphorically, then, you know, yeah, this is probably like the closest thing that we have to episode two. So yeah, if you compared this, mm -hmm. set it against everything we have, which is mm -hmm. nothing, then yeah, this would probably be the closest thing we have to an episode, but it would be a pretty half bad episode. Okay. So why don't we do another take?
No, I got it. I got it. Let me just have. No, no, no. I don't want you to quit touching me. God. Jesus. That's not poignant.